Hello and welcome to another mini tutorial from uh, UPVC Spares for Repairs. This morning we're going to show you how to toe and heel uh, glass into a window frame. Hope it's helpful for you. We'll first of all talk about the bridge packers which are used initially to fit the contour of your profile on the window. Um, they've got slots in the bottom of them and the reason for that is that as you use these on the base of the window frame that allows the water to pass beneath but you don't need to worry about them when you're putting them on the vertical position or on the horizontal at the top uh, everything should work out okay and I'll explain how we uh, fit them into position next the bridge packer is normally a wee bit narrower than the um, double glazed unit um, but the uh, position of it is critical so that you get the correct amount of balance of pressure on the side of the double glaze unit as you rest it against it. So to insert it in the vertical position I would normally use a small amount of silicone and place the packer in the corner first at the bottom. The second packer because of gravity doesn't need the silicone on the bottom and you can still have the al allowance for the water to travel underneath it which passes through the uh, um, gasket into the chamber below so this can then pass water below it so we pl simply place that in this corner this is the opposite corner to where the handle is positioned The uh, double glaze unit that's offered into the frame, it, the size of that unit is usually dictated by the manufacturer of the frame. They give the sizes of the double glaze unit um, as their specification. So it will depend on how much of a gap there is between the edge of the double glaze unit and the packer that's already been installed as to how much extra packing you will have to install around each one of the packers that be, that's going to be fitted. Now under normal circumstances we would recommend and it may not be the same with everyone and I'll admi admit that straight away but we would always recommend that packers are positioned in these points below the handle but never on the base. I'll explain why in a little while. Above the handle in the horizontal above the handle, two in the opposite corner to the base and the two that we've already installed. The only time that we would recommend that you use any extra packers other than these which is seven in total to start with is if you've got a high security handle and espanolette with a deadbolt in it. You can see the deadbolt protrudes out. So if someone attacked the window and tried to bend this sash, the opening part of the window, to prevent that being pulled back out of the striker plate that it sits into, if you placed a packer here and a packer there, it prevents virtually all movement. We'll move on to uh, putting the glass in and fitting the bridge packers next. So now we've got all packers in position ready to offer the glass into place. Now uh, we would normally recommend that on any glass you try to use suckers. Um, which are available through UPVC Spares for Repairs. So you carefully offer the glass into the frame and once you've got it in position you might need someone to give you a hand now because just holding it in place is imperative because obviously you don't want the glass to be blown out if it was a windy day. So that's where you might want a, a, a helper. We'll move on now to uh, actually packing the glass so that it's toe and healed. 
Next move is to uh, lift the uh, glass in uh, slightly just to be able to get the bottom packer in place and we usually use in our circumstances the green packer which is one millimeter so we put the glass shovel underneath here and carefully apply some pressure and my friend here will put in the packer in the corner and we'll release that back down again so it sits comfortably onto the green pack now we'll work our way around putting packers in each uh, other corner using the glazing shovel for exactly the same purpose but the intention is that we are transferring the weight from the top corner above the handle across the glass to rest comfortably in the bottom corner below the hinges the idea is that weight distribution is pushed over and then as I mentioned earlier the reason that we don't put a packer underneath the handle at the bottom here that is so that we can adjust the height of the sash using the the strength of the glass as a pack to pack off the top so if we needed to lift this up slightly to get it in alignment with the striker plates we lift the top of the sash slightly and insert a packer or an extra packer to be able to level it up and to ensure that you've got the actual double glaze unit and the sash in the correct position once you've put them in and the packers are secure if you took a pencil and ran down the edge and the top of the uh, opening sash open the window slightly remember the glass won't be uh, totally secure because it won't have the beading in it but if you open it slightly see that the margin of distance between the edge of the sash and the pencil line are equal once you've got them equal you know you've got it in the right position in certain circumstances on larger panes of glass where you may get more expansion and contraction on the glass and the frame it's worth inserting a small amount of decorator's cork just underneath the packer that will prevent that packer being able to fall out and slide down the window and create the glass becoming loose We're now going to start and uh, refit the, the beading into the window we fit the shortest uh, beads first and in this case it's the horizontals so that drops into the bottom of here carefully sliding the uh, mallet down the glass and the same at the top now that glass is secure so we can let go of that Steve and we can take the, uh, the sucker off safe so now we fit the vertical beads can't explain too much about the beading because it will depend on the type of window frame that you've got as to what type of beading you're going to have in it some fit in a particular fashion so that might have to be covered by a separate video for you but we'll look into that as soon as we can that's it fitted and working thank you on the occasions where you've got to replace a double glaze unit because it's either misted or perhaps it's cracked we remove it or we wouldn't remove it normally by using a sucker which you simply put on the window one that's, that's got it firm next move is to remove the beading you always remove the longest beads first so with a nice sturdy sharp knife um, which we do have on our website you insert it down the side of the bead and gently prise it forward won't work unless this is sturdy so the type of scraper that you use for decorating isn't the sensible tool to use this is a sturdy uh, tool it's released it ever so slightly 
and then you work your way up gently till you can see a small gap down the back of the bead which you then insert slide it down slightly and up and now it should bend comfortably and remove in one piece then to get the top and the bottom beads out don't go for the middle start in the corner in with the knife and this time tap it down twice pull it out and that's how you remove the beads The tools that we recommend you gather together for uh, carrying out the removal of double glazed units or the changing of uh, door panels are as follows. A double sucker which is our part number 2525. However if it's a larger pane of glass, heavier, then we recommend that you use a triple which is 2524. Next you need to look for a mallet with soft ends, our part number 2025. Five, seven, along with a sturdy bead knife which is our part number 2143 then you would look for a silicon gun 2058 from our part list the clear silicone which is 2088 and the acrylic uh, to use underneath the packers would be 2091, a glazing shovel 2048, along with if you haven't got enough packers when you remove them from the window, there is a packer set or packer kit 2076. I hope that's helpful for you. Thank you.